This is my 99 Golf, and I've done a lot of things to it to improve its shifting. I've made videos detailing everything I've done, and there will be a link in the description. But to recap, I have swapped over to a newer style shifter, replaced and upgraded almost all the bushings that I can, I've done the cable adjustments, installed a new clutch slave cylinder, and swapped in new transmission oil. In this video, I install the bushing that I hope is the final piece to the puzzle to make my shifting perfect, or near perfect. Hey, what's up? Hopefully this will be really quick. I have one bushing that I have yet to replace in my Mark IV Golf. And my shifter, it feels great. But there is only a little bit of slop front to back. There is none left to right. I just have that little bit of slop front to back. And if my suspicions are correct, it is this one bushing on the cable ends. I'm going to go show you what it is now. It is that bushing just below this, I'm going to call it a counterweight there. Now, I also have not replaced the bushing that is just above my shadow there. Um, but I don't think that's giving me any issues. But this bushing here, if you remember in my previous video, I'll throw a link up somewhere. This bushing still has slop and I have ordered a new one for it and that one uh, from Euro Tuning. But I believe that little bit of slop I have is from this. So right now, I'm gonna go see if that is indeed the case. So I'm gonna go into the cabin and do the same motion you saw me do earlier, wiggle it front to back and see if that little bit of slop makes itself evident on that cable end. And look at that slop. That negates the cable end adjustment because when you push it forward, it makes the cable seem shorter. And when you pull it back, it makes the cable seem longer. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, so now I am going to quickly, if I can, remove this cable end and replace it with my upgraded bushing. So I'm gonna spin this around so my finger can get up under it. Let me see if this helps the uh, helps the view a little bit. Take that off. Let's see if. All right. So this is my first time doing this without removing all the intake stuff. So these are the upgrades I got from Euro Tuning. Now, this kit does come with bushings for both cable ends, but I'm just going to be replacing one because I already got the Diesel Geeks upgrade on the other. Yep, there's the slop. Now let's see if I can take this out without ruining this like I did on the other one. Well, I mean, I didn't all the way ruin it. I just broke one of the uh, one of the little arms. There we go. The fact that I could push that out so easily with my fingers, yeah, it's awfully crumbly. Yeah, this is the end of a long day for me. But I had one person mention in the comments that they were looking forward to my next video. And I am too. So, let's see if this solves my little grind issue. But I have been driving the golf a good bit. And since I know when it grinds, I haven't had it grind yet. Yay. So last time, I broke one of these, broke one of those guys, but this time, I didn't. So if you got this kit, or a similar kit, this one is for the front to back movement of the shifter, and it is the one with the larger diameter. 
Oh, it's a nice fit. And I think these are symmetrical. Let's see. Yeah, they seem to be. And that, yeah, that has no, no play at all. So I'm going to throw a little bit of lithium grease in here. I don't know if that's advised or not, but I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to throw it back in the car. Now, I'm no expert in bushings or anything, but these feel quality. They do not feel cheap at all. I know this isn't the greatest view, but it's after work and I'd really want to test drive it tomorrow when I go to work. Let's see. Yeah, no play there. Actually, put it on the, the rod first. Get on there. All right. And now for the clip. Let's try that again. Come on. All right, I may have to do this off camera. So I was able to get the clip on, but it was a very tight fit, but it does move freely. So now all that is left to do is to adjust the cables again. Now I've gone through this before, but why not go through it again? So I'm gonna push that in and point it straight up. Let's see, boom. Like that there. Unfortunately, my hands will likely get in the way of the camera. But, but who knows, I might be able to get it. So with the shifter, with the shifter locked in the cabin and in the engine bay, I am going to try to take my watch off to get in there. Pull the slack off on this guy. It's locked. Now, uh, pull the slack off on this guy. And uh, now it's locked. All right, so now I can flip. So that's back down, and now I can remove this. This is a snug fit with a diesel geek one. All right, so let's put all this back down. Yeah, I need to connect this better. You know, put it between here and there, but I've been doing so much troubleshooting with this thing I never know when I'm done all right so now I don't know where that play is but there is hardly any play I think oh yeah that feels good does it feel like any play it feels like when it moves I'm actually moving something so I'm gonna get the same camera angle that I did earlier to get the play and see whatever happens. So I'm gonna do just like this. Remember this when I go in the engine bay. You can see the cable end wiggle a little, but there is no slop. And then I finally move it to see how the new bushing reacts to actually moving it. But it looks really good. So what were the final results? If I was very aggressive, I could get it to grind a little 
going into first. But it felt, I don't know how else to say this, it felt less grindy. But I've driven it for about two weeks now and I have not grinded again. And this is just carefree shifting, pretty much like I drive the Civic. So it was a long road, but now I am very happy with the shifter in my Mark IV Golf. If you'd like to see what it took to get to this point, check out my Mark IV Golf playlist. And if you'd like to follow along to see the other things that I would do with the Golf, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.